Hello and welcome to Payne's Pop-Up Quiz. The quiz will be starting in just a few minutes, but don't worry, there's still time to grab a drink. Oh, and get me one while you're at it. How are we all doing tonight? Let us know in the comments. Are we all feeling quizzed up tonight? There's no 50-50 phone a friend or ask the audience in this quiz. Just you and your brain. Oh, and your team members. So you're back for another night of Payne's Pop-Up Quiz. Remember everyone, be nice to each other in the comments, even if you're doing rubbish. Have you all got your thinking caps on? We'll be starting in just a few minutes. It'll be worth the wait, I promise. Oh, that question last week about that thing and, and the answer, oh yes. Which team is going to win this week? During the quiz tonight, we'd like to remind everyone to share and check in, but don't, but please do. Also, like and comment, but don't, but please do. Follow, review, tell your friends, but don't, but please do. Have a good quiz, everyone. Take pictures, have fun, and remember to tag us in it as well. No cheating now. Welcome to Payne's Pop-Up Quiz. We'll be starting in just a few minutes. What are you all drinking tonight? Beer? Wine? General knowledge? Let us know in the comments. Have you all got your thinking caps on? No googling now. Have you written your team name and where you're from in the comments? Who's the weakest link in your team? Could it be you? Hmm, maybe it's you. Yes, definitely you. The quiz will be starting very soon. Remember to check in to Payne's Pop-Up Quiz. Remember everyone, this quiz isn't a game of competition, unless you're winning, of course. Treat yourselves to a drink. You never know, it might help. Quick, get ready! It's about to start! Hurry up, come on! Here we go! Ladies and gentlemen. Hello everyone, I hope you are all having a fantastic evening so far. Unfortunately, I accidentally clicked the wrong button, so it cut out my intro. Oh, so please welcome your host of the show, he spells his name with one L and one T, it's Elliot Payne, that's me. Uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button by accident and it cut it all out. And all I've been doing is waiting for about four minutes with my finger on the mouse, just ready to press that one button. Uh, so, hello, how are you all? Hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to all of our team members uh, and teams that were here previously and of course welcome to anyone new that has also arrived. So as uh, happens with all streaming uh, there is a slight delay. I've actually tried to play with the settings so obviously it's probably going to go wrong uh, as it already has but that's okay. Um, so the delay should be only about 10-ish seconds um, so we'll see if that actually works or not. 
who knows? Uh, Technology is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it doesn't, does it? So, uh, uh, hello, Malcolm. Uh, right pair plus two, roaring to go again. So that's good. Uh, and we've got other people. We've got, I think I saw Car Carol Baskin, Slap Attacker back. Uh, we've got uh, Pussies Galore. Uh, this team, our team winners, Cat, welcome to you. I can't believe it. Last week, you got 2020. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to um, type in itsy bitsy teeny weeny uh, letters out of quarantine and then completely miss that you got 20 out of 20 because I think they got 19 or something. So I uh, hope the two of you are all right. I hope you guys are here as well. So we're still waiting for a few minutes before we do begin. Now, first things first, what I want to do is if you can see at the bottom of the page, I believe it is this, this side uh, on your screen. Um, it should say underneath the video share if you can do me a favor that would be amazing if you could please share this live video right now um, and let people know that you are watching Payne's Public Quiz and then it will say write a post on your phone or on the computer and if you write a post and then click share and then that will share this post um, as much as possible to get as many people involved as possible that does help and as always um, if you would please um, write a review at the end if you haven't done so already that would be amazing and also um of course if you could do as many likes and comments and uh, a review would be good as well uh we are uh sponsored by my instagram be inspired by pain if you aren't following me on my instagram please make sure you do switch it up a little bit this week so self-care remember self-care is not selfish so uh, you are allowed to look after yourself once in a while it is allowed i will let you uh, i will allow it so look after yourself uh, of course um you know, a bit of pampering or or just having a beer or just having a drink or just relaxing. I watch a bit of TV, a bit of escapism, that's allowed as well. So, uh, as I say, we have got lots of teams, uh, so welcome back to our teams. Let's get Quizical, I think, are here. Uh, quarantine Quizzes are here. Uh, inspired by Pain Beeston. <laughs> Spelled my name wrong, though, that's right. I'll let you off there, uh, Derek. Different name every week. Uh, hello from Germany, Jürgen. Hello to you. The Ormrods are here. Um, we've got uh, Jackie's back as well. Rachel, hello. Uh, Feeling Fatal are here as well. I think I saw earlier, who did I see earlier? Debbie's here, welcome Debbie. Hall, the right answers. Trivia Kings of Gamstonia, Nottingham. Uh, Tiger King, want to be there. That's my dad. Uh, Baker Bance, I believe you're here as well. So hello to you. Uh, my comments are just slightly off to the left here, my left here. Uh, and Spenlove, hello. Uh, Dale, the Wishing Wells, I think you guys are, right? So hello to you guys as well. Whoa, so welcome to everyone here. And uh, oh, uh, Team Railway is here. Welcome to you, Nest as well, uh, Sean. There. You go. So I'll also, if we can please, um, in uh, the uh, oh the lanes. Hello. If write in the comments. Uh, yesterday was Nancy's birthday. So happy birthday to Nancy, uh, all the way in America. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where you are. I think you're that way uh, from where I'm facing because we're a north facing house. So yeah, should be that way. Um, so uh, happy birthday to Nancy for yesterday. If everyone can please put a birthday cake in the comments. That would be amazing. So happy birthday, Nancy. I hope you had a great day all the way in the States. And I hope you're all keeping safe as well. And that goes for everyone, of course, as well. I hope you're all uh, safe and looking after yourself. And uh, if you uh, notice, uh, thanks again to James for doing the voiceover work uh, for the beginning introdu introduction. And he said about if you could share and like, but don't but like and share and share and like. Uh, if you don't, if you get that reference as well, you'll see if you do. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much, Dean, for saying happy birthday to Nancy, so uh, there are no rules except for two, I believe. Two rules. One is be nice in the comments. Uh, of course, uh, we don't want any uh, anyone being mean in the comments. It's all a bit of fun. If you lose, oh well, uh, as always next week. And of course, the main rule itself is no Google. Do not use Google or any other search engine. Um, there's no need. Uh, you're only letting yourself down, and we don't want that, do we? So um, if you don't know the answer, the answer is always C. So write the letter C down if you don't know. Write your uh, answers down on a pen and paper or on your phone. Do not write the answers in the comments, but you can comment as much as you can as once. Uh, oh, uh, I missed uh, Kieran. Uh, Kieran, I missed your team name. Is it it's Carry On Quizzing or Carry On Quiz? Or uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what it is. But hi, Kieran. Hope you're doing well. There's a good question in here for you. Uh, you're not going to like it. Um, so yes, uh, no, no writing down your answers in the comments, but comment as much as possible. That would be great. Um, and I believe that is everything I can think of. There's going to be 20 questions. So 20 questions, and then we're going to go through the answers after those 20 questions. And that's about it, really. So I think everyone is ready to go. The aim of the game is to beat our leaderboard. Leaderboard right now, you stay there for a week unless you stay on. So we'll see if Pussies Galore uh, from Nottingham are going to stay on top of that leaderboard for that pride and glory. So uh, in that case, is everybody ready to go? If you are, give me a thumbs up, um, and then we will begin. 
I think it is about 10 seconds before you can see. Before, before I can see the delay, I mean. Cheers, everybody, if you've got your drinks. I've got mine as normal, my Coke. But actually, it's, a, it's, it's not Coke, it's Pepsi. But other brands are available. Can you imagine how good it would be if you have got to that level where you're just recognised by your name, even when other brands like, like Hoover, for example, or uh, Kleenex. And I think in America, they say, oh, get a Kleenex, but it's a tissue. But Or like, you know, if we say Hoover, but it's a vacuum cleaner, isn't it? But even if you've got a Dyson, you say, oh, Hoover. Um, so anyway, we're ready to go. And uh, let's start going. Um, oh, carry on. Carry on something. Carry on stairs. Oh, I'm watching you, Kieran, here. Paul's there as well. Hello, Paul, to you. So let's begin with question number one. Let's get straight into it. Question number one is our general knowledge question. General knowledge. And the question is, who wrote The Great Gatsby? Who wrote The Great Gatsby for question number one? Question number one. Who wrote The Great Gatsby? There we go. Ready. Hello, Karen. Hello, Millers. Hope you're all doing well there as well. Who wrote The Great Gatsby? It's question number one. Moving on to our next question, question number two. Hoover is a yeah. Hoover is a brand of vacuum. Uh, oh, Nancy in America. So in uh, in England anyway, we say Hoover, even like no matter what the va the brand is. So if you have like a Dyson vacuum cleaner, would still call it a Hoover. So there we go. Um, so that's question number one. Who wrote The Great Gatsby? Moving on to question number two. Question number two, and the question is geography. It's our geography question. From which continent did the guinea pig originate? From which continent did the guinea pig originate? Oh, I will actually mention as well, um, earlier today and the past couple of days, we've been having some internet issues. So all of a sudden, if uh, we do cut out, don't worry, uh, my backup is going to be the old fashioned, my phone, and I say the old fashioned, I've got my phone and the quiz on another laptop which is not connected to the internet, and I can just read it out regularly. So it won't be as pretty, but we'll still get it back up and running. So if we do suddenly dot drop, um, I will be back up as soon as possible uh, for that. So hopefully we'll be all right. But on that case, uh, let's keep on going for number three. Question number three is our science question, our science question. And the question is, which nerve forms the link between the eye and the brain? Which nerve forms the link between the eye and the brain? I hope everyone has got one, um, a brain that is. Um, so which nerve forms the link between the eye and the brain? For any question, if you don't know, type in the word clue and I'll give you a clue. Maybe, maybe a good one, probably not. Which nerve forms the link between the eye and the brain? This is our science question for number three. Turn it on and off again. That's exactly right, Russell. Um, just got to turn it off and then on again. That's exactly all you need to do, right? That is how technology works. Question number four is our next question. Question four is our true or false question. True or false. So it's either true or false for question number four. And the true or false question is Gulliver's Travels was published in 1726. Is it true or false? Gulliver's Travels was published in 1726. Should I give you a clue for this one? Clue is, it's either true or false. <laughs> true or false. <laughs> Here we go. Gulliver's Travels. Ah, oh, Gulliver's Travels. I feel very small just thinking about it. I'm in the corner, aren't I? Help. Moving on to our next question. Question number five. Question number five is our language question. Our language question. Question number five, the question is, which Japanese word also used in the English language means empty orchestra? Which Japanese word also used in the English language means empty orchestra? That's question number five. Has anybody been to Japan? If you've been to Japan, I wanna see a uh, Japanese flag um, in the comments, please. If you've been to Japan, just type in the word Japan. It should come up um, on your phone there. So uh, Japanese flag, if you've been there, um, it's amazing. I've been there once for one day um, <laughs> and it was amazing. It was, it was brilliant. I uh, just want to go back. I was on a cruise ship and we went for one day. I'll tell you I worked on cruise ships. We went for uh, one day and then left. It was great. I want to go back. It's 
top of my destinations to go to, which Japanese word also used in the English language means empty orchestra. Moving on to question number six. Question number six is our tri bond trivia. So it's our tri bond question. So the way this works, um, I'll explain it again for those that might not know. There are three words or phrases. You have to tell me what links them together. What links them together? Uh, yeah, Alistair's been to Japan. <laughs> uh, three words. What links them together? For example, I use uh, the the same example that I'll use again is um, a belt, a bra, and a bank robber. Is that they all hold things up? They all hold things. Up, um, a belt, a bra, and a bank robber. So, what links these three things together for question number six is our tri bond question. And uh, it's very interesting this how people, um, how people's mindsets are, and if we get the answer right or not. So, let's see for question number six, our tri bond is the three words or phrases are an iceberg, a tongue, a thong, and a wait staff. So, a waiter or waitress, an iceberg, a tongue, tongue. Tong, tung, a wait staff for question number six. What links them together? Iceberg, tung, tong. How do you say it? Tong or tongue? I'm trying to think now. You know when you say something so much. Tong. I'll oh, stick your tongue out for me. Stick your tongue. Stick your tongue out. If you put um, a, a, if you type in the word lick in comments, it will come up with a, a, a tongue. So uh, send that in the comments if you've got that one. Moving on to our next one, number seven. Question number seven is our music question. Thanks there, Tom Snap. <laughs> we go. Question number seven, our music question. Which song from the 1960s contains these lyrics? I got sunshine on a cloudy day. I've got to say it very monotone. It's a very difficult question, this is. Which song from the 1960s contains these lyrics? I got sunshine on a cloudy day. It's so hard not to sing those lyrics. <laughs> Can you imagine if people suddenly joining right now and all seeing is all these tongues <laughs> just in <laughs> just in the comments, just tongue, tongue, tongues, tongue, tongue, tongue. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. It's question number seven. A music question. Moving on. To question number eight. Easy one that was, number seven. Question number eight is our general knowledge. General knowledge says right here for our next one. Each week, they're all gonna be exactly the same structure. So uh, hopefully you're gonna be able to, to brush up on. Question number eight. John F. Kennedy was one of how many children? John F. Kennedy was one of how many children? There we go. Prina, this is an easy song. Yeah, it was an easy one, that was. that was. That was so hopefully you got that one. So uh, nice and easy for this one. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All the uh, suns and clouds. John F. Kennedy was one of how many children for number eight general knowledge? There's uh, one for the Americans there. <laughs> question number nine question number nine is our riddle question it's a riddle so each week we're gonna have a riddle and uh, this is it number nine the riddle is I always run but never walk often murmur never talk have a bed but never sleep have a mouth but never eat what am I Whoa, that's a complicated one I always run but never walk Often murmur, never talk. Have a bed, but never sleep. Have a mouth, but never eat. What am I? That's question number nine, our riddle question. Hmm. I don't know if you did see, by the way, I did a Monday hmm question, because uh, it sounded better than hmm. So Monday hmm question. Uh, so make sure you do look out for those. I'm going to be posting those every Monday, and the answer will come out on the Tuesday. So you've got a, a, a day to think about the answer. So the video will come out on Monday, and then on Tuesday will be the answer. So make sure you do have a look out for the Monday hmm questions. Moving on to my favourite question of all, because my artwork is amazing back by popular demand question number 10 <laughs> is uh oh question number 10 
is Elliot's Drawing. So everyone, I know you're all looking forward to this one. So uh, as soon as the video um, is over, um, you should be able to hear me, but um, please just double check. If you can't hear me, please let me know in the comments. But uh, we'll go with the video of Elliot's Drawing. And the clue is, do you know what? I've got to think of what the clue is. The clue is, it's an animal. It's an animal for question number 10. This is the drawing, here we go. Okay, so just to check, can everybody hear me? You should be able to hear me. Um, so that was question number 10, Elliot's drawing. And uh, this is the still of that drawing. So can everybody hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. That would be much appreciated. Or just type in a microphone, so you see the microphone. Hello, hello, can you hear me? <laughs> Beautiful drawing. Thank you very much, Caroline. Uh, appreciate that. <laughs> There we go. So what is that? So my uh, beautiful drawing, of course, the clue is an animal. we have already given you a clue. So there we go. Thank you. You can hear me. That is good. Phew. There's the drawing. What is it? The clue is an animal. <laughs> if you can't get it, I'll be really upset. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, thank you, Russell, to our next question. Oh, before we do actually go on to our next question, um, this is going to be a slight uh, break. We're going to have a slight break. So what I want to do is I want everybody to get their phones out, please. And if you get your phone out into a video mode, and if you can hold your phone out sideways would be perfect. And if you could uh, put the phone out, and I want you to all um, say, uh, you can do it now or throughout the quiz, say, uh, it's Payne's pop-up quiz. So have, I want to have the, um, the, the computer or live in the background and your whole team and go, it's Payne's pop-up quiz. Um, it's Payne's pop-up quiz to uh, the camera and if you could please post that on your page and then if you go on to when you're writing uh, the status if you press the at symbol and you type in Payne's pop-up quiz it will tag Payne's pop-up quiz in it that would be amazing and we get as many people to have uh, it's Payne's pop-up quiz on a video as possible that would be brilliant so then we can all be connected together and also if you could please send me that video I want to try and make a, like a little video to put on the page that would be also brilliant as well so we'll just say it's Payne's pop-up quiz with me in the background or with the page with the, um, the quiz in the background throughout the quiz and then post it either after or during um, that would be amazing and if you could send me that video that would be great as well okay let's go on to our next question question number 11 is our general knowledge question general knowledge question number 11 the question is what type of skirt was the main fashion style of the 60s what type of skirt was the main fashion style of the 60s no idea I'm too young I'm only 12 so wouldn't know question number 11 <laughs> I can hear um, screaming downstairs. I think that's my parents doing a video. I can imagine. <laughs> so question number 11, what type of skirt was the main fashion style of the 60s? Using your phone to the quiz, so that's okay, Debbie. You can always do it after, um, or you could use someone else's phone. It's completely up to you, but um, much appreciated. Question number 11. Was that one moving on to number 12? Number 12 is our animals question. Our animals question, question number 12. What sort of animals feature in the children's book, Watership Down? What sort of animals feature in the children's book, Watership Down? Question number 12. What sort of animals? Pam knows that one. Maybe one before, or this one, not sure. But here we go. Number 12, our animals question. <laughs> 
Thanks, Tom, for the microphone. <laughs> Moving on to question number 13. Question number 13 is our food question. Now, this one, it says food, but it also means food and drink, doesn't it, really? Question number 13. It means Aunt Mary in English, but by what name do we usually call this drink? So it's food and drink. It means Aunt Mary in English, but by what name do we usually call this drink? What name do we usually know this drink? There we go. There we go. So there we go. Hmm. That's a definite one. Interesting. For number 13, our food and drink. Cheers, everybody. If you type in cheers in the comments for me. Chin chin. That's very British, isn't it? Chin chin. <laughs> I've never said that in my life. Actually, I probably have. <laughs> Question number 14. Cheers in the comments. Question number 14. It's our mythology question. So I'm enjoying these, even if um, I've no idea what any of the answers are before I type in the question. But uh, I hope you guys are too. So uh, it's quite interesting to learn a bit of mythology. So number 14, mythology. The question is, who was... The beautiful youth loved by the Greek goddess Aphrodite. Who was the beautiful youth loved by the Greek goddess Aphrodite? I've actually um, been referred to as this before, so uh, it's quite interesting. 4 and 14, those who know the answer are going to say that is completely true, of course. Um, but who was the beautiful youth loved by the Greek goddess Aphrodite? For question number 14. Interesting. Hmm. Anybody know their Greek mythology? Because it might come in handy in the future. <laughs> Not saying they're all Greek, but let's see the ones I've found recently. <laughs> Moving on to our next question. Question number 15. Question number 15, another general knowledge qu question. The question is, camel milk is the only milk that doesn't curdle when what? Camel milk is the only milk that doesn't curdle when what? Oh, already got a video. Thank you. I think that was from, from Sue Ormrod. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, I'm excited to watch these now. That's great. So, uh, yeah, if you can do that video and send it whenever, that would be much appreciated. You might hear the noise, but that's not a problem as well. So uh, send those videos in to me. And also, if you can post it on your page as well, that will be perfect. Camel milk is the only milk that doesn't curdle when what? For number 15. Question number 16. Question number 16 is our sports question. Sports question. The question is, an Olympic-sized swimming pool has eight lanes. In metres, how long is each lane? An Olympic-sized swimming pool has eight lanes. In metres, how long is each lane? Nice and easy. This is an easy one for question number 16. So question number 16, nice and easy. I think so. Um, Alistair, you're probably going to get this one right. Hopefully, if you don't, I will cry. Um, but uh, I used to, I've been swimming since age of four, I used to teach, I was a lifeguard. Um, so yeah, it's an easy one for me anyway. Question number 16, Olympic size swimming pool has eight lanes in meters. How long is each lane? Um, curdle, what's the description of curdle for, uh, for our German friends there? Um, when it goes like all lumpy and horrible, Oof. Um, for question number uh, the previous one and for the Americans um, you'll also it's the same uh, Olympic size swimming pool because it's all measured in meters even in in the Olympics so in America it's exactly the same so uh, just if you don't know this one unfortunately <laughs> you don't know it but it's the same question number 17 question number 17 is another general knowledge question Question number 17. In computing, what is RAM short for? In computing, what is RAM short for? R-A-M. Romeo Alpha Mike for question number 17. In computing, what is RAM short for? Ram, ram. If you can do a um, a picture of a ram, which is a which is a sheep, isn't it? 
I hate in the comments, they'll be like, why are there loads of tongs, cheers and sheep? So sheep in the comments or ram <laughs> with the horns uh, in the comments, please. If you will, for number 17 in computing, what is ram short for? Can I ask a hockey question? Maybe next week or maybe not. <laughs> Moving on to our next question, question number 18. Question 18 is another general knowledge question for question number 18. Uh, here we go. Thank you, Russell, for doing <laughs> the ramp. I'm doing much better this week. Oh, Paul's doing well. Question number 18, our general knowledge. The question is, how many years did Nelson Mandela spend in prison? How many years did Nelson Mandela spend in prison? Ram is short for Rambo. Maybe it is. <laughs> it probably is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the sheep. How many years did Nelson Mandela spend in prison? It's a long time, isn't it? Either way, Nelson Mandela for number 18. There we go, all the sheep, all the rams. Question number 18 is our general knowledge question. Question number 19 is our penultimate question. Question number 19, the penultimate question. It's our entertainment question. This one is just for you, uh, Kieran, um, because you said to me the other week that every quiz that you've done has had one of these questions in it, so um, by chance, it was just by chance, this happened to come on as well. So <laughs> it was just in one of my quizzes that I already had that I was just putting the questions in. So question number 19, our question is, who played Rachel Green in the TV series Friends? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, James will know this one, it's fine. Who played Rachel Green in the TV series Friends? This is an easy question. Easy question. Do you, oh, th thanks, Derek. <laughs> I worked on that. Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Who played Rachel Green in the TV series Friends for number 19? Our entertainment question for this week. And then moving on to our last question, which is number 20. Number 20, our general knowledge question. So uh, we'll see how we go for this one. Our final question, question number 20. And the question is, how many dots are there in total in a pair of dice? How many dots are there in total on a pair of dice? That's question number 20. How many dots are there, are there in total on a pair of dice? There we go. Coffee shop, central perk. There we go, Russell. <laughs> Uh oh, my parents have never watched Friends. I have, but they haven't. Who is that, Joel? <laughs> Asking questions in the comments. There we go. D uh, D, what's that? Nissan main dealer. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Question number 20 How many dots are there on a total in a pair of dice? And that was our final question. So it is now time. Um, to go through our answers. So as I say, if you would please um, do that video, that would be amazing. So uh, say so it's Payne's Pop Up Quiz. That's the phrase that you need to say in the video. And then um, if you at Payne's Pop Up Quiz, it will come up straight away. Make sure you do uh, at Payne's Pop Up Quiz the page itself, not the quiz number and then whatever a number it is. Make sure it does just say Payne's Pop Up Quiz. Um, oh, that's how you say it in South African accent. Oh, I see it. Nissan main dealer. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, I'm all, I'm, that's all I'm going to think of now, isn't it? <laughs> that's all I'm going to think of. So, yes, um, do the video. That'd be great. And uh, be inspired by pain and uh, the leaderboard. All of that uh, jazz is what you need to know. Um, doesn't it? Quite scary, though. <laughs> we'll see for the video. So please do the video. That would be perfect. And, uh, yeah, I hope you are enjoying these quizzes. Um, it's all a bit of fun. So uh, if you if you are, please let me know. Um, any feedback is, is well uh, appreciated. So thank you for that. Um, so well done again to our leaderboard, uh, our team, Pussies Galore, that were winning last week, 20 out of 20. So if you think you've done well uh, so far, how do you think you've done? Let me know in the comments. If you think you've done we uh, better than 20 out of 20, um, Kat, how are you doing? How's your team doing? Uh, are you going to stay on top of the leaderboard? Uh, let me know in the comments, of course. Uh, down below so uh, see how we go um, may have frozen slightly so hopefully I will have come back um, I say the internet is being a bit weird so uh, if I'm still here let me know uh, that would be amazing 
Um, so we'll just see how we've gone. Um, should be okay. But uh, we're going to go through our answers now. I think we are all right. So let's go with question number one. And the question was for our first question. Who wrote The Great Gatsby? Who wrote The Great Gatsby? Is question number one. Um, I've got 19 out of 20, and there we go, better than last week, so see how we go, quite good, finally got a friend's question right, <laughs> uh, 25 out of 20, I've got that, who wrote The Great Gatsby, if you know the answer, you can, okay, I'm still here, perfect, Phew. thanks Dale, I was waiting for someone to say that, <laughs> um, you can write down the answers now, uh, answers galore, if you know the answer, write it down in the comments, who wrote The Great Gatsby, for number one, the correct answer is, Joel's got it right, it's F. Scott Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald, again, spelling does not have to be correct as long as it looks like it. And F. Scott, I'll give you the point for F. Scott, I'm being nice there, Joel. Uh, unless you just couldn't be bothered. Okay, you put, you, got the bit, you put Fitzgerald as the last bit. I was going, oh, it's going to be nice. F. Scott Fitzgerald, you know who it is. Question number one. Question number two. Well done, well done. Question number two and is our geography question. From which continent did the guinea pig originate? Which continent did the guinea pig originate? Um, the answer is, of course, South America. South America. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen it. If you haven't seen it, you should re-watch it. It's on BBC. Uh, not sponsored by, but if you want to sponsor, you're more than welcome. Um, it's called Race Across the World. Um, Race Across the World. There's um, two se seasons, and it's just amazing. If you like travel, if you don't like travel, watch it anyway. It's called Race Across the World. It's about five teams that have to get from one destination across the world, they have to race to get to the other destination, and um, they can do it, but they're not allowed to take any flights, and they have to do it on a flight budget. So uh, it's really good, you should definitely watch it. Uh, Caroline, see that, I know you have, it's, it's brilliant. And um, the last season, the season two, was South America, so it was amazing. They went to Argentina, and um, that's where they, they actually, one team ate guinea pig. I don't know how I feel about that, but um, it's a delicacy there. So that they, they breed them to eat them. So, yeah, interesting. Moving on to our next question. Definitely watch it, if you should, if you can. BBC, uh, race across the world. Uh, question number three is our science question. Which nerve forms the link between the eye and the brain? Which nerve forms the link between the eye and the brain? What's the answer for question number three? The answer is the optic nerve. The optic nerve is correct optic nerve for question number three well done who to those who got that right who got that one right give us a thumbs up yes we've got a couple of thumbs up yes well done optic nerve well done there for question number three moving on to number four number four is our true or false question true or false gulliver's travels was published in 1726 is it true or or is it false uh oh dean you should know this one don't you work in opticians <laughs> maybe not 19 out of 20 uh oh cap uh, Gulliver's Travels. Now, 1726, does it sound right or did I just take off a year or add a year? Oh, tricksy one, this one, for question number four. Um, the answer is, for this one, it is true, it's true. I didn't cheat you, I was being nice, it's true. My 1726, wow, isn't that amazing that we can still appreciate good literature from that long ago? Woo! I can't read, so not me. But anyway, question number five. Question number five. Here we go. Which Japanese word also used in the English language means empty orchestra? This is our language question. Which Japanese word also used in the English language means empty orchestra? Ba -ba -da -ba -da. The answer is, of course, karaoke. Oh, that dreaded word for me. Um, those that do know me know that, um, I say, I've worked on cruise ships, did I tell you that before? Um, and, oh, Caroline will know this as well, the amount of karaoke I have seen and heard, just the, the nightmares. I, I sometimes sleep and wake up in hot sweats thinking about the bad karaoke singers. Whew, some people are like, oh yeah, can you, uh, can you change the pitch? Nope, you have to sing it as it is. If you can't sing it in the key that it's in, you're not meant to sing it. <laughs> Some very, very bad singers indeed. Um, but some great singers, some people that think they're great, but they're not. Moving on to question number six is our tri-bond question. So it's our tri-bond quiz 
Uh, question uh, question number six. An iceberg, a tongue, and wait staff. What do they all have in common? What links these three things together? Any clues? I'm going to wait for the answers here. Any clues for question number six? Our tribe bond. An iceberg, a tongue, and wait staff. What links them together? I'll let you know. Uh, oh, Caroline, yeah, I know that's an agree. Yeah. Ah, interesting, Dale. Saying tip. T I P. Interesting. Um, there we go. Uh, just smiling and laugh faces, some thumbs up. So, um, interesting for question number six, tip. Some other people say tip. Uh, that's interesting. Interesting you put that because I think you'll find that the answer is actually, yes, it's tip. Tips or tip. They all get, they all get tips or they all have tips. So the tip of your tongue, tip of an iceberg. And, uh, hopefully you should always tip your wait staff. So make sure you do, because I used to work in a pub and I remember serving maybe like 50 people uh, for a party and then they all paid, of course, individually. Uh, so I had to do everyone individually and nobody left a tip. And it was like three hours of work and I was the nicest person in the world, uh, as I always am. I'll try to be, do everything the best of my ability. And then no one tipped. Oh, it was awful. I was so gutted. Please what tip. All the time. Um, moving on, if you want to give me a tip, you're more than welcome. Uh, don't say never eat yellow snow. <laughs> but uh, also, if you want to send me money, you're more than welcome. Uh, if you, some of you know me already, I can leave my uh, details if you want my bank details. If you just want to send me send me details, uh, <laughs> you can. Question number seven. Whew, moving on, number seven. Music question. Of course, which song from the 1960s contains these lyrics? I got sunshine on a cloudy day. One of my favourite songs. Um, of course, it is nice and easy. My girl, The Temptations. My girl, my girl. Talking about my girl. My girl. Obviously, I cannot sing, but I like to think I can. So, uh, yeah, My Girl, The Temptations is correct. You only needed uh, My Girl. So, if you got My Girl, The Temptations, uh, one or the other. Uh, well, you need the song. So, you need the song. So, what song from the 60s contains these lyrics? My Girl, Temptations. Cla oh yes, Caroline, it is a classic karaoke tune. Oh no, the amount of people are like, oh yeah, we can sing this one. No, no, don't do it. Moving on, number eight, question number eight. And the question was, John F. Kennedy was one of how many children? John F. Kennedy was one of how many children? Um, there's quite a few, actually, um, and it's quite interesting. Whew, so, uh, of course, uh, is our general knowledge question. John F. Kennedy was one of how many children? Children, the answer was nine children. There were nine children. Wow, that's a busy household, isn't it? Nine children. Can you imagine? Nine kids. Woo! Maybe they're Catholic. I don't know. Um, anyway, moving on. Question number... That's okay, you're allowed to be. Uh, question number nine. Question number nine is our riddle question. Question number nine is our riddle. Oh, well done there, Karen. Well done, Miller. With, with the nine. Uh... Jim's got that one as well. Nine. Uh, <laughs> that was that was bad. Oh no, put seven. Never mind. <laughs> Rumor, uh, the, the riddle. Uh, I always run but never walk. Often murmur, never talk. Have a bed but never sleep. Have a mouth but never eat. What am I? Our riddle. Joel's going straight in this one. For the river. Abby's got this one as well. And the wishing whales. A river is correct. Well done. If you put river is the correct answer for question number nine. <laughs> Moving on to question number 10. Question number 10 is Elliot's drawing. So uh, this is a shoplifter. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Good to see you. Welcome to the quiz, Eddie. I'll uh, see you a couple of comments. <laughs> so this is my drawing, my fantastic artwork. Uh, don't you just love it? Um, my watering hole was just terrible uh, in this picture. <laughs> uh, could have been a river, could have been a river. Um, so this is the drawing. Of course, the answer is, the clue is an animal. It's an elephant. Yes, of course, it is an elephant. This an Elliot Funt. Oh, Joel, loving the puns. You got them there quicker than Kieran, that. Uh, <laughs> elephants are my favourite animal, so I couldn't miss the opportunity to draw an elephant, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with this little guy. Um, would you like to see the inspiration for this drawing? Do you want to see the inspiration? Draw an elephant in the comments if you want to see the inspiration. <laughs> the inspiration is... Da -da -da. Ta-da! Um, the trunk was the wrong way round, um, but I think that looks pretty well, pretty good, pretty close to me. Look at that, even the tail, the tail's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> it's all, it's so bad. 
<laughs> Elephant, let's move on. Let's move on to number 11. Question number 11. Uh, question 11 is our general knowledge. What type of skirt was the main fashion style of the 60s? What type of skirt was the main fashion style of the 60s? An anti to more like. Oh, thanks, Russell. I appreciate that. <laughs> Either way, it's a good drawing then, right? <laughs> Use the wrong one. <laughs> thanks for the elephants, guys. Appreciate that. Of course, number 11, it is the mini skirt. Yes, mini skirt is the correct answer. Well, Abby, Abby and Joel straight in there with the answers. Like, mini, the answer's mini. <laughs> uh, mini skirt, of course, for question number 11. If you just put the word mini, I'll give you um, the point for that as well. Uh, don't at me, Alistair. Uh, question number 12, question number 12 <laughs> is our animals question. What sort of animals feature in the children's book Water Ship Down? Water ship down. I'm onto my water now. It is water. Whew. Yeah, it's water. Uh, what sort of animals feature in the water ship down? Of course, the answer is rabbits. Uh, even this, this is obviously the animal's question, but lots of uh, animals in this question, in this quiz, isn't there this, this time? So uh, rabbit, 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 rabbit. Uh, oh, or is it hares? It's mainly rabbits, but there are hares, I think, as well. But uh, rabbits is the correct answer. For number 12. Question number 13, our food and drink. Um, it means Aunt Mary in English, but by what name do we usually know this drink? By what name do we usually know this drink? Aunt Mary is what we normally, uh, is what it's called in English or the English translation, but it was a horror. Do you know what? It was quite scary. They did, um, for uh, Watch It Down, they did a like a remake, um, didn't they, uh, at Christmas, and it was quite quite violent. For a Christmas thing. Oh, watch this. Uh, rabbits ripping each other apart. Tia Maria is the correct answer. Well done there. Tia Maria is correct. Eddie, of course you got this one right. There we go. Well done. <laughs> Tia Maria for question number 13. Tia Maria. Give us a cheers if you got that one right. Chin chin again. Cheers. For Tia Maria. Question number 14, question number 14, our mythology. Uh, and I've been referred to as this god many times before. And he goes, oh, Elliot, um, you know, I was thinking the other day, who was the beautiful youth loved by Greek goddess Aphrodite? And of course, the answer that uh, you, Elliot, definitely are is an Adonis. Adonis is a correct answer. Uh, <laughs> Adonis, I am saying that correct. It is Adonis, isn't it? Uh, Adonis, um, oh, I have to apologise as well, because uh, last week, apparently, um, fortune telling is, um, are, is, the cards are called tarot cards, tarot cards, and I said tarot cards, or tarot cards, so uh, I'm dyslexic, and also I've been in America too long, so, uh, oh, thank you, I know I am a goddamn Adonis, there we go, it's, it is what it is, uh, uh, look at these guns, uh. Uh, I think it's over, it's over there. Oh, oh, quack, quack, swan, swans. Oh, oh, actually, I just pulled a muscle in my... In my ow, I just hurt. Oh, I just hurt my back. <laughs> I've done too much exercise during lockdown, which is zero. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that hurt. I'm not going to do that again. Whew, moving on. I've really hurt my back. <laughs> oh, type a muscle uh, in the um, comments, please. Oh, for my back. Uh, Adonis, let's move on to number 15. Thanks there, Eddie. Whew. Uh, question 15. Camel milk is the only milk that doesn't curdle when what? So hopefully uh, you got this one. Such an athlete. Oh, I am. Uh, the answer is uh, it doesn't curdle when it is heated or boiled. Boiled or heated. Uh, <laughs> is the correct answer. I need to do more running. Do you know what? I'm going to do a um, social distancing run tomorrow is the plan. Um, so we're only allowed to meet one person. I'm going to have to alternate with who we do it with. Joel, I'll have to text you later about it. Uh, camel milk is, is when it's heated or boiled for question number 15 is the correct answer. Oh, a little camel. I like it. Thanks, Slap. Question number 16. Question number 16. Oh. Uh, sports and Olympics. I need to do more swimming. Oh, I wish I miss swimming. An Olympic sized swimming pool has eight lanes. In meters, how long is each lane? How long is each lane? 
Of course, the answer is 50 meters. 50 meters is correct. Uh, on a, in a regular normal size swimming pool, it is 25 meters. And then in an Olympic size swimming pool, it's 50 meters. D didn't know what Coda meant. That's okay, you're gonna, I'll let you off. Um, it's like when it goes all lumpy and horrible and it tastes great on cereal when it's off. <laughs> um, 50 meters for number 16. Question number 17. Well done to those there. Yeah, Dale got that. Debbie got that right. Oh, my dad, who went swimming with me every Saturday at 7.30 in the morning, got it wrong. Disappointment. Uh, number 17. In computing, what is RAM short for? What is RAM short for? Of course, the answer is not Rambo, but it's random access memory. Random access memory. Um, quick story about when we did go swimming. I was obviously little and that my dad used to take in the money, uh, voluntary, and he didn't keep it. Um, it was all volunteers. And then, uh, oh, sure, uh, uh, Shirley's here as well, aren't they? And then dad uh, used to, uh, after I'd swim, he would be chatting away with Shirley as well. And they were talking for ages. And then I'll go shower and dad would bring me my stuff but he forgot me and two hours later I was still in the shower just walking back and forth just pressing all the buttons in the showers for about two hours because he never came and he just left me he's just busy chatting away there we go random access memory <laughs> and that's how I turned out how I am now uh, question number 17 random access memory question number 18 question 18 general knowledge how many years did uh, Nissan uh, main dealer and uh, Nelson Mandela spend in prison uh, how many uh, we've got 25 here uh, Debbie said there's so 25 years uh, any other answers for number 18 any other years um, the answer for this one is 27 years 27 well done there 27 at least I was clean <laughs> uh, 20 seven years oh that's okay fiona don't worry it's good to have you here as you are here for the answers i used to get that one that's why i shrug because i shrug him in the swimming bath shower <laughs> yeah that's why I'm sh wait i'm not sure i'm, f I'm five ten <laughs> maybe that is short uh 27 for number 18 uh 27 years wow that's a long time isn't it that's correct well done well done there Moving on to our entertainment question. Uh, who played Rachel Green in the TV series Friends? Of course, the answer is Jennifer Anderson for number 19. Jennifer Anderson is the correct answer for number 19. Hopefully you guys have got that one correct. Another easy question. And number 20, the last question for uh, the quiz today. How many dots are there in total on a pair of dice? So a pair of dice. Of course, the answer is 42, 42. So it's a pair of dice. That's four, four die in total, I believe, isn't it? So it's a pair of dice. So it's a pair of dice, but it's total in on a pair of dice. So it's two, 42 is the answer, no matter what. Uh, the way it's worded, that's the answer. 42. So uh, hopefully you've done quite well. Remember, if you haven't done so already, make sure you do that video. That will be brilliant. So please do that video there. Um, and let's see who our winners are. So I uh, hope you've done quite well. Um, and say, we've got to see if we're going to stay on that leaderboard. So how have you done? Write in the comments how you've done. And then we're going to have a small, short break of no comments. And then we'll see who our winner is. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. If you haven't done so already, like always, um, if you can like this video, and uh, also, if you can share Penny's Pop Quiz, please, please, please uh, write a review. That is uh, much appreciated. That really does help the page uh, itself uh, on rankings and whatever Facebook likes. I, I don't know. I'm sure it does. That's what I'm going to say anyway, right? So if you would share uh, and write a review, that would be amazing. And of course, please come back next week as well. So we've got 15, 16, 10 out of 20. We've got 13, 14, 16, 16. Um, 12 rubbish <laughs> 13 13 oh seems to be a harder one today so uh we've got oh uh 12 oh slightly different from last week <laughs> uh oh cat uh we've got 18 18 out of 20 oh 17 i can see that okay so no more comments please no more comments slight break please slight break in the comments now i believe it's whiskey business have written theirs so i've got 18 out of 20 so anybody else um gets higher than 18 out of 20. If you've got 18 out of 20 or more, please type in your team name to Whiskey Business. I believe that's you, right? So type in Whiskey Business, if it is you, uh, and your team name, where you're from, and your score out of 20, please. 
So I believe it is those guys there. Uh, I can't see any more, but well done indeed. This is uh, this is interesting because it will be our first team that is on top for second time in a row. <gasps> uh oh, so that does mean that uh, we have got pussies galore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to remove you there. Whiskey business. You guys are on top right there for us for a second win it's a second win isn't it so uh well done to you guys there anybody else i believe not so can we get a round of applause a clap 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 a cheers a well done a tick anything for whiskey business well done impressive that's their second win Oh, so they are on the leaderboard right now. So well done indeed to Whiskey Business. So congratulations. So again, once again, thank you very much for joining me. Um, it is about time uh, to end the quiz very shortly. So uh, thank you so much for joining me as always. I hope you are having fun. It's all a bit of fun and uh, just a bit, of, a bit of escapism for an hour or so, isn't it? So uh, if you again, please do that video. That would be amazing. And um, Paints Pop Quiz, write a review. That would be amazing. Instagram. Be inspired by pain. I'm just changing up the, the layout on my page. So hopefully it's going to look a little bit different. And I'm working on some stuff for that as well. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. And um, as always, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much, everyone. See you later. Take care and be safe, everyone. Bye. Thank you all once again for joining us tonight. And as always, we'll see you next week. Good night.